Decisions. Entrepreneurs are generally sort of loners, and they have to make decisions early and make decisions in the beginning. Because no one else has thought of this particular idea. Uh, comfortable multitasking, comfortable managing others. Once you start a business, you're going to have to have help. Uh, adapt quickly, remaining flexible. This next one is interesting. Financial security is not important. I don't know if you think of entrepreneurship as a great way to make lots of money. I, I don't know if it has that reputation. If it makes sense, it will make a lot of money, but it may not be a success for a long time. So if you're interested in, in uh, financial security, and security is the key word there, if you want security, entrepreneurship is probably not for you. Uh, you have to be persuasive, selling people on your new idea. Visionary means you want to see new things in the world. It doesn't have to be grandiose. I'm going to give you some of the things I had visions about. And they're, they're very silly. I mean, they're little things. Anyway, being a good observer, hugely important. You will see through the slides I show in my own career, most of the things came about because I saw a need. I watched what was going on around me. I saw uh, something missing, something that could be improved. Are you passionate about ideas? You'd like to talk about new ideas, new approaches. And then lastly, have a passion for change. My, I see a lot of tens out here. Let's see. Oh, just a, just a question of curiosity. Can I have your attention, please? Uh, how many of you here, honestly, would like to have your own business, meaning you want to work for yourself? Have you thought about this? Or? Really now? This is an entrepreneur class or what? Uh, Do you have the wrong name to this class? I'm impressed. It's the Macedonian way, I suppose. That's quite impressive. I wanted to mention, I'll reward you. No, I don't know how many that was. Raise those hands again. Between a third and a half. I wanted to warn you, though, most entrepreneurs do not have pension. Uh, they all have pension. Can I have your attention? Next is uh, insurance. We all need, right? Medical insurance. In other words, we all need an income, right? Salary. Next one, we all want to work a nice, reasonable number of hours. So what do you work in a normal work? 35 hours? Take the hour off? 40? Well, let's say equal or not greater than. What do we write in the Less than. We don't want it to be more than 40. We want a nice, comfortable life. 40 hours. So for many entrepreneurs, you have absolutely no pension. I have no retirement whatsoever. Anything I have when I get older is only based on the assets that I've generated through my project. Insurance. You have nobody giving you any insurance whatsoever. I have to buy my own insurance. Sometimes that's difficult. Salary. In general, I have no salary when I start a business. I don't take income out of it. Uh, and often as an entrepreneur, you have to go without a salary for a considerable amount of time so I can make this work. Working less than 40 hours is virtually impossible if you're going to start a business. <laughs> so, let's say you 
have no pension, no insurance, no salary, and you work a lot more than 40 hours for getting paid nothing. So, can I ask again who really wants to start doing business? <laughs> ah, I'm impressed. It's a little slower, but it's, uh, I just thought I'd give you a fair way. Of course, the rest of the, the class are going to talk about the wonders of being an entrepreneur and how wonderful it is, but I wanted to have that sort of that disclaimer at the beginning. Uh, let's go to this next one. Right. Oh, it's kind of a long. I'm sorry about this chart. It's not appropriate for a classroom. Well, let's. I just read the, the first half. It's about the advantages of the other.